October 3rd, opening day of archery here in PA, and I'm super excited for this evening's hunt. This morning was kind of predictably uneventful, but tonight we're sitting kind of at the back of this cornfield here, and the last bunch of days, deer have been coming in here way before dark, and uh, we saw them literally last night, like probably an hour before the end of legal light, so I'm excited. Um, I kicked two fawns out of the cornfield on my way back in here. There wasn't much avoiding that, but I didn't see any mature deer go with them, so I think we'll be okay, but I'm going to shut up and get ready because, like I said, they've been coming out early. Hopefully we can get it done on opening day. Just as expected, a full two hours before the end of legal shooting light, a mature doe was already working her way out of the food plot and towards the corn. At this point I realized that she was coming to the corn rather quickly and I had yet to even pick up my bow so I struggled to keep her on film and get my bow in my hand as she was starting to walk out into my shooting lane. Before long, deer started to make the way back into the field, and I knew it would only be a matter of time before either the mature doe that we already saw would make her way back into the corn, or one of the other does in the area would come and check it out. As I was trying to film this promising young buck, I noticed out of the corner of my eye that another mature doe was working her way towards the field. As great as it is to see a buck with this much potential so early in the season, I had to keep an eye on the doe so when she moved towards the corn, I could be ready. Finally the doe broke into the field and started to move very quickly towards the corn and I immediately thought back to the earlier encounter, got the camera on my shooting lane, grabbed my bow, and got ready. I was not going to allow this to be a repeat of earlier. Never killed a deer 
on opening day of archery season. But that arrow was right where I wanted it. Finally calmed down a little bit. 17 yards. That was so cool. There's three mature does just kind of like slowly getting out of here. They, they know something wasn't right, but they didn't get spooked bad, I think. Hopefully we're going to go get her. And then we can on Sundays. I probably won't on Monday. I'll likely hunt back in here Tuesday. There are still a good number of very unspooked and very mature does. I can see my arrow. I'm going to try to get the camera on that. Hopefully it's a full pass through and we can get a good look. And, um, you know, see for sure. I'm going to try to get backed up and climb down out of here. Those does are starting to leave the food plot, so I don't want them to know where I'm at. So as soon as they're out of here, we'll go look. We slipped out of there without those other deer uh, seeing us, so that's definitely good. Let's see what's going on here. Unfortunately, my dad wasn't hunting very far away, and he was able to join and help track. Right here. Yeah, Over right here too. See that? It's turning and going down that way. Hair. <coughs> yeah. Look at this. Yeah, some sprayed on this stock. Once we got out of the cornfield, blood was much more difficult to see, and after a good 15 to 20 minutes spent looking for blood in the hayfield, we really weren't finding much of anything, so we decided to stop here, wait for my brother, and pick up the trail when all three of us were there. I was getting kind of worried. We were tracking her pretty far, and she just was not leaving a lot of blood, but she went probably 120 to 150 yards and just actually piled up right here on the power line, which is gonna make it really easy to get out of here. But something chewed at her already. She's got no tail. And, you know, I shot her an hour and a half ago. Like, it's kind of insane, but we'll get her tagged and taken care of and now the work starts. Man, what a great way to kick off the 2020 archery season. Just a nice big mature doe, pretty much exactly what I was after. I mean, we had that buck come through, but I never really uh, placed my bets on getting a buck early season. This is pretty much exactly what I was hoping for, to fill the freezer a little bit and, you know, get to test out the obsession, which did great. I mean, I hit her a bit far forward. You know, I had some uh, tough sledding to get through there, but it did great. I'm, I'm definitely impressed and Pretty cool to get a deer down with that bow already, so definitely good. Got her gutted out. Um, gotta go skinner and everything, but yeah, could not really ask for the season to start any better. As I said at the end there, just what a great way to start off the 2020 archery season after everything this year has been to just get back in a tree stand and get back to doing what I enjoy so much. It was just great to have that kind of sense of normalcy and just a really good feeling to be back in the tree stand again and getting it done there on opening day. 
and I'm just really glad to be back to still filming again. I enjoyed this so much last year, and I'm already having a blast again this year. But I did want to talk quickly just about kind of the plan for the rest of the year as far as videos and stuff goes, because this particular video was only of opening day, just because we had the harvest and there was enough kind of footage there for a full video. Things will kind of get back on track next week with kind of getting caught up to the end of week two, and then we'll kind of just go from there. So we are going to do weekly videos from archery season and rifle season if we get to that again this year. And one last thing, uh, unfortunately I am not going to be doing a pronghorn hunt this year that got cancelled. Uh, just kind of the way things go, but at least that means I'll be back home and able to do more archery hunting this year, so at least there's that. But as always guys, make sure you go and check out the Meat Hunters YouTube channel. You can see my hunting videos there four days earlier than they come out on this channel, plus the other videos that come out over there that aren't released here. So make sure you do that, the link's going to be in the description. And I'm looking forward to picking up right where we left off here next week. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.